Today we are going to be upgrading to Town Hall 14. We got a bunch of boosts. Plus we got the jungle scenery. We have all four pets. Pets are so powerful. What's going on guys, it's BD Legend, and welcome to probably the biggest video on my channel. Honestly, I don't think it's gotten much bigger than this because today we are going to be upgrading to Town Hall 14 finally. I've never been the max Town Hall ever in Clash of Clans, and I've been playing this game like on and off for years. So it's been a really, really interesting experience, and honestly, I wanted to share all of this with you, and I'm literally stacked with magic items. So I got a book of building, a book of spells, a book of fighting, a hammer of building, a hammer of fighting, and then on top of that, I have four books of everything literally four. i i think i've only had like seven in my career but i've got four books of everything just for this upgrade i've got a rune of elixir a rune of gold and then on top of that we also have a book of building a rune of elixir as well as other resources from the clan games that we haven't claimed yet and we've got the 10 percent reduction from the brand new season pass so guys absolutely set up to smash this first day of town hall 14 and i hope you guys are really gonna enjoy this video because i'm super excited so let's get into it all right, here we go. So I'm looking at it right now. You guys are looking at it right now. The moment I actually am going to upgrade to Town Hall 14. Honestly, a little nerve wracking, but we're going to go ahead and do it. And what we're going to do is we're going to spend the book of building. I'm going to get into why and exactly how I'm going to break down my books. And it's going to be actually insane the amount of work that we can do because of those four books of everything primarily. But let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and hit the upgrade button right here. So three, two, one. Here we go. And I just completed it with the book of building. And guys, we've got a bunch of... Uh, we got a bunch of boosts. I don't even know what to say. Plus, we got the jungle scenery. So that's really cool. A lot of stuff going on here. And we're going to utilize all of these boosts by completing you know our upgrades during cwl so we're going to be able to use this during cwl which is going to give us a huge advantage and then we got a little builder animation this is also really cool upgrade their huts to see how they can help i'm not going to upgrade that first of course uh, that's not going to happen i automatically went to my progress base now you want to go to your progress base i for some reason couldn't find progress bases online so i just adjusted my town hall 13 one and if you guys are looking for a progress base you can go ahead and use my one i'll leave a link for it in the description but the first thing even before i touch any of this other stuff right here all this extraneous stuff the first thing that i'm going to do of course is drop the pet house that is the number one priority right now dropping the new building getting those pets so that i can of course use them and boost my offensive strength quite a bit so why don't we go ahead and do this right here i'm gonna go ahead and go into the new buildings and then right into the pet house here i will drop the pet house in the corner there we go originally of course it would take 11 days but i'm not going to wait that long so i'm gonna go ahead and use a book of everything on the pet house now she's gonna give me a tour of the pet house i'm gonna go ahead and hit the tour button this is really cool pets are powerful companions that fight alongside your heroes in battle so really cool you can even upgrade them to make them even more powerful so cool i know that i know there's a really tough pet grind too so i'm not sure if i'm really up for that yet but let's go ahead and see let's pair up the first one lassie with one of your heroes of course the lassie should be going with the royal champion because that is the best way to use the lassie now this is actually really cool this whole like functionality here i've been waiting to use this for a very long time so i'm super excited right now and super pumped i hope you guys are as well excellent choice each pet is unique and there's many great combinations not really true at all there's only one great combination but hey you know whatever they did try if they had a new pet there might be a lot more combinations feel free to experiment to see what works best i might just experiment for a little bit of fun 103,000 to upgrade this thing that is a long upgrade and two days and 16 hours but we're not going to start the pet grind right now we've got some other things on my mind so right now you can tell that we have a full gold storage as well as 19 million elixir so it would be a really good time right now to burn a little bit of that elixir and that's exactly what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and upgrade the pet house once again with 13 days and 12 hours and then book it for the third level or the second level i'm sorry so now i have the owl now 16.5 million and then a 15 days and seven hour upgrade time for the next level of the pet house are you serious I i'm definitely not going to wait that long for my pet house so what i'm going to do is for the last two upgrade levels i'm going to use two hammers and this is going to save me a bunch of elixir which is extremely important right now as well as get me to the pets and get me to the offensive strength that i really really need 
We have all four pets. I haven't assigned them yet, actually. So I've only assigned the last eight because you're required to as part of the tutorial. I'm going to assign the other stuff to the Electro Owl. There we go. We're going to assign it to the Warden. The Mighty Yak, we're going to assign to the King. And the Unicorn, of course, we're going to assign to the Queen. And because I have the Hero Boost going on right now, I have level six pets, which is absolutely insane. Like the amount of power difference I have now. But of course, we are out of Elixir, as you guys can probably tell. And we do have a really important Elixir upgrade to do. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the rune of elixir here to absolutely smash my storages and now i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the laboratory but then i'm gonna use a book of everything to go ahead and finish it as well now there are a lot of upgrades that i could make here and i know that this may come as a little bit of a controversial opinion but i am gonna upgrade the dragon rider and the dragon i'm gonna go ahead and max my hydra right now first of all i'm gonna upgrade the dragon rider with the hammer and i'm gonna go ahead and hammer it that's a 15 day and 7 hour upgrade that we're skipping so definitely worth that hammer that we're spending and then on top of that we have the dragon as well and that's a 16 days and four hour upgrade and now i actually don't have another hammer i was planning on having another hammer this time around so that's okay we can go ahead and upgrade that stuff a little bit later but we also have some other priority building upgrades that we need to get out of the way before we continue the first thing of course as you guys can probably tell is going to be the clan castle now we want that extra spell space and we already have enough to actually take care of it with a book of building but we don't have a book of building so how are we going to counter this what you're gonna see is that we have the clan game rewards to get still now i'm not gonna claim the clan game rewards because my treasuries are almost full so first thing i'm gonna do is go ahead and claim my treasury so why don't we go ahead and go back to the clan games the first thing is we're gonna get the elixir and then i'm gonna go ahead and finish this off with of course taking the last book of building with me as well as two research potions go ahead and collect all of my rewards and as you guys can see i have an extra reward but i'm gonna go ahead and claim that rune of elixir awesome boost right now because i can go ahead and skip this this really really long 18 day upgrade on the clan castle so there we go so right now there is a bunch of things that we can actually go ahead and look into uh, I've got six builders open so I think I gonna prioritize putting the builders down in general there is a really really important upgrade that I actually do want to get started and it is gonna cost a lot of gold but it is super important I think in my opinion and that upgrade is the builder hut upgrades now the reason is because right now the builder hut is not a defense if I upgrade it just once it's gonna become a defense and it's gonna give me at least some defensive power builder huts are definitely a priority but I'm gonna have to go ahead and manage some gold to go ahead and get them so the builder hut upgrades cost 8.55 million each so i'm gonna go ahead and collect some resources from the treasury as well as some for some from some other places to scrounge up as many builder huts as i possibly can for upgrade i'm going to actually put down this dark elixir storage right now is the best time for me to actually put down this dark elixir storage and the reason for that is because i don't have any use for it at all but i need to put down my builders and if i get it out of the way now any runes of dark elixir or anything like that that comes our way i can absolutely maximize the usage of it and dark elixir is super important at town hall 14 with all the heroes so i'm gonna go ahead and put that down for one upgrade right now i right now have a lot of dark elixir and i can't put down any of my pets right because they're not efficient for me to use a book of heroes on but i also have an overflow of dark elixir so what am i going to do i'm going to go ahead and put one level down on my queen so my queen is going to go to 76 and only be four levels off max which is super super exciting all right so we went ahead and booked the queen up now obviously it shows 80 because she's got the five level boost so she's going to stay 80 anyways but this is a really meaningful update for me it means i'm only four levels away from a max queen so i've been thinking and i decided that the best way for me to actually deal with this last builder is to not put it on anything and the reason for this is because we're gaining so much loot this week not only from additional loot for clan world league but also because we have a four times star bonus right now so right now i'm just gonna leave that builder open and use it to grind walls as much as possible so overall just it's been crazy and right now i'm gonna play a background of me doing my first ever town hall 14 attack where i absolutely crush this base like pets are so powerful and i'm so happy because obviously my offensive strength just went from like here to like crazy like the offensive strength is absolutely crazy right now so you guys are going to be watching this in the video in the background right now while i of course tell you guys a really important thing and that is thank you so much like you guys have shown me so much support over these last two and a half months that i've been actually uploading and it means so much like we're almost at 1000 subscribers um hint hint we're going to be doing a giveaway at 1000 subscribers so make sure you guys stick around for that but it just it just means so much for me that you guys are watching all the videos and you guys are being so supportive so thank you really it, it really means a lot i'm going to be 
be uploading as many videos as I possibly can, things that hopefully you guys find some value in. Thanks guys, this video has been so awesome to make and this journey has been such an amazing journey. If you guys want to go ahead and check out all the brand new sceneries, maybe you guys want to go ahead and check out the tiger scenery, or maybe you guys want to go ahead and check out the trade boat concept in Clash of Clans, whatever it is you want to do guys, go ahead and do it. And I will see you guys in the next video.